It looks like science fiction, but it's science fact. This is a type of weed control. This is the future. And from what I've seen today, every farm, whether they be small or large, will have a benefit out of, what, out of this type of agriculture. In a good year, Garth Short's 32 hectare farm would be thriving, with up to 1,500 layer hens rotating with sheep and cattle and a greenhouse filled with basil. But it's his third winter without rain. His chickens have gone, so has his basil, and he's drastically reduced his breeding ewes and cows by about half. One thing he hasn't been able to compromise, though, is weed control. These are the ones that are really causing us some heartache. Um, this, uh, this broadleaf thistle here, very hard to get rid of. Normally, he'd pay a contractor about $3,000, plus the cost of herbicide, to spray his 15 paddocks. But he's found a much cheaper, easier solution. Start after five seconds, keep far away from UAV. This is what's called a swarm. Giant drones targeting individual weeds that have been identified earlier by a sentry drone. To spray the entire farm would cost about $1,200. Everything that you see here today, it's fully automated. There's no pilot. The pilot only needs to stand here and supervise, but the aircraft does a whole flight uh, fully autonomously. Charles Chow's company is an Australian-owned subsidiary of the Chinese giant XAG. His cutting-edge technology can reach areas that are difficult to access, such as gullies and fence lines, and avoid sensitive sites like dams. While it's more about potential than common practice right now, he reckons drones can be a new force in agriculture, providing jobs and opportunities. By introducing something cool that's high-tech into the rural areas have helped us to actually get the younger generation back into farming.